Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Reis. I work for the user success team of Sequent as a geotechnical engineer and in this video I'll be showing a possible workflow between Leapfrog, Plexis, 2D while using Central. For this purpose I'll be using a tailing storage facility model in Leapfrog that has already been designed by the other teams. I will create cross sections in some areas of interest for geotechnical analysis, publish these cross sections in Central import the geometry from central into Plexis, define our stage construction in Plexis to perform our geotechnical analysis, and finally I'll be publishing the relevant results back into Leapfrog. What is Central? Central is essentially a model management tool that helps you to visualize, track, and manage the geological data from a centralized environment. And it's quite convenient to bring project teams together since you can easily add users to a specific project and give them the most adequate role. To find more about Central, you can follow the learning path trainings at mysequent.com. When I open Leapfrog, this is what is shown in the projects tab. The projects that are stored in central environment have this C letter and in my case I've been assigned to multiple servers and to connect I only need to single click in the one that I want to connect. Once I click on open and connect the project will open and then I can easily create my cross sections in the areas of interest for my geotechnical analysis. Here I'm creating a series of cross sections separated by a certain distance. This might be handy if there is an interest in performing a geotechnical analysis for each of these sections. By right clicking in the cross sections and selecting evaluations, I can bring the lithology information to my cross sections. and then I can publish them in my centralized environment. While assigning the most adequate project stage, branch and useful notes so my colleagues assigned to this project can easily track what has been done. This becomes more clear as we take a look at the project history and for instance this last upload has an ID of 1009. We can now open Plexis 2D and import our cross sections to simulate the construction of the Tellingstam facility. We can import the soil from Central directly from the Plexis interface and select which central server, project, branch, and Polish event you wish to import. In this case, I'll be importing the latest event, which was 1009, and I'll select the cross section that I want to bring for my analysis. Once you press OK, a new window will appear with the import information, which you can inspect with more detail, and once you press OK, the geometry is imported. Now, if changes in the cross-section that you are currently working on are applied in a later stage of the project, this will also be captured directly in Plexis. As an example, here I am changing the color of the dam's embankment and once I publish this, a clock symbol will appear next to the central icon. This indicates that something has been changed. You can then easily check what has been changed in the project and apply the changes, if applicable, by clicking in the corresponding bottoms with your mouse. Then all is left to do is to make some changes in the geometry for a finite element analysis, if applicable, and add the most adequate constitutive models for the type of analysis that it is to be performed, the corresponding mechanical properties, and then we need to draw some geometry and water levels that will define our stage construction and perform our calculation. The calculation results can then be inspected and even imported back into Leapfrog project. This is particularly interesting if multiple analyses in different cross-sections are to be performed 
and inspected by multiple team members in a single environment. Hope that you find this information useful and thanks for watching.